Hey everyone, Marla here with a DT for Craft Supplies 1 on Zibit and Etsy. Um, I made this really cute box that I want to share with you guys. But first I want to tell you about a couple things um, to do with the store. One is we are doing a DT call until the 12th. So you have a couple days for that. Um, the information's in my last video. And basically you just message Julie, the owner of the store, with your information. And um, she will be making a decision shortly. So um, that is one of the things. And the other thing is we have parchment flowers that are buy one get one free. And I'll show you guys. They are these beautiful flowers. They come in tons of colors. And you buy one package and you get another package free of the same one. Okay? And that's unlimited. You could buy, you know, 10 packs of different colors and you'll receive 10. Okay, so there's that. I just wanted to tell you guys about that. So basically what I did, I made this um, using Prima Optimus, which I have over here. And I've been really wanting to get this paper for a while. It's kind of hard to find because I think it's um, out of print or whatever. But I bought two of them, and I think I got them at joanns.com um, for... A really good deal so basically it's like a black chalk chalkboard look with some bright colors um, okay so I had this one in box and the front like slides out and I really wanted to alter it so I decided to make it a card box to hold my handmade cards so basically I covered it with the paper and it's really pretty paper this says um it says happy but it it says um do whatever makes you happy or something but um you can see the happy there so I'll show you the paper so I covered it all with paper and you can see all the different papers they have um, blues and yellows and pinks are really pretty and here's the bottom and for the bottom I use these really cute acrylic pieces that Julie carries and they are in pink and then on the front, I used, for the whole thing, I used all trims and, and laces from the store. This one is a wider lace that um, I use for the side. And I just, it's, it's this wide. And I just use it on the corners. And then this one is another one, one of my favorites. And I thought it matched really well. And I did that on the top and the bottom. And these are the um, appliques I got in my DT for this month. And they're really pretty. I think you get five or six when you order them. And I use that all the way around. And then I use this bling from Christina in the center. Um, she gave me a bunch of these a while ago. And then the ribbon buckle. And all the corners are the same. And for the front, the front's my favorite besides the top. <laughs> I had these wooden um, banners that I got from Michael's and I used some of the paper and I put it on there and then I had some grunge board letters from Tim Holtz these they're kind of inked up and I what I do every time I use the grunge board I use paint and I just dab it on and then I use my um it's kind of like a diamond dust but it's not the glass glitter it's um a jo uh, Michaels brand and then I used that to give it some sparkle while the paint was wet. You could see it. Let me zoom in a little better. So it gives it like a pretty look. And then um, some new flowers that I received in my DT this month were these, which I love. They're silver, and they have this silver glitter to them. So I put those over here. And this is also from Christina from our swap a while ago. So I used that, that was an earring, and I just put it in the center of the applique. And then the top, this is from Becky. I've had this for a while too. I've been saving all these things for a special project, so I wanted to use them on this. And then I just put some rosettes over here. And in the center is one of the silver flowers from the store as well, and I just put some stickles to make it match the front ones. And then here is the beautiful mask that Julie carries. I love this. I kind of put it on loose just um, because I didn't want, it's hard to attach it, so I didn't want to glue it where it would be all globbing, you know. So um, 
Yeah, this is really pretty. I love the mask. Um, she carries these in orange, uh, white, black, purple, I believe. Oops, my phone's falling here. And a bunch of different colors, so you'll have to check out the store um, for the mask. And yeah, so there's the top and then the inside. Oh, over here, this is a new trim. Um, let me show you guys that, that I got in my package. A few of us got it. It's really pretty um, lace and it's soft and it has this thread detail. So I put that all the way around and then I use um, Craft Supplies 1 flatback pearls here and then I had some black ones for over here. And then to open it, it just slides. Let me open it. It just slides like this and then um, the inside I grunge it up with some paint and I use some of the beautiful turquoise trim that she carries in the store and then this new trim also and then some of the bling in the center so I really like that I think it looks really pretty and I went all the way around and I painted the whole thing with just some black um, folk art paint. So yeah, check out the store for um, some great deals and the deal on the parchment flowers. And let me know what you guys think of my little card box. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!